Hey, this is Mikey with one last video about Polytrace before it's released. It's going to be released tomorrow, Tuesday the 8th, and I just want to talk a little bit more about it, show some different examples, uh, maybe answer a few questions you might have. So this is Polytrace, and let's just kind of go through some of the examples. I have it right here on just some text. We can, um, it's set to alpha mode. So what Polytrace is, is it'll take your footage and it'll triangulate it. It'll create all these uh, polygons. Um, and let me show an example with, with some noise. So here's an example where we've got some uh, turbulent noise and I've made it look kind of like fire. And the, it creates these polygons on top. Here's another example. I've gone through and I've added polytrace to this footage and then I've distributed it through 3D space and also the timing of it has been offset so it creates this kind of this cascading look. That's kind of cool. So I just made duplicate copies of the footage with polytrace on it. Now polytrace can create a lot connecting lines and dots. Here is another example. This is using Element 3D. I thought, you know what, let's see what it looks like on a 3D object. Now I can come in here and adjust the threshold. And it creates a different look. I can come in and adjust the size. Or the point collection mode. I can draw faces. Let's just do this to red. And you can see Everywhere that's red is going to be smaller triangles. Everywhere that's not it's going to be bigger triangles. That's what that's kind of how that works. We can adjust the threshold so it kind of builds on. I can scatter everything. And you can see how fast this is. This is all in real time. I don't have um, any adaptive resolution on. and it builds that on fairly quickly. So it's a nice and fast real-time plugin to do triangulates and uh, low poly. Here's another example. I uh, did it on a person's face. Kind of make it look like there's some sort of a glitch and he's really some sort of pu computer program. I don't know. Uh, there's lots of stuff you can do with it. And I just wanted to show some more features. Let's uh, create a new Composition with a solid, and I'm going to add to this just some noise. And let's go ahead and add an evolution to the noise. So I'm going to add an expression to evolution, and we'll just do times by 500. And let's maybe make the let's make the noise bigger and less complex. Okay. So that's the noise I'm going to be working with. Now, let's pre-compose this so it acts as a single bit of footage. Move all attributes. Okay, now let's add polytrace to this. And you can see all the triangles that it's creating. This almost looks like kind of a, like a glass effect. Let's go in here and under the point collection mode, there's these algorithms that sometimes work great, sometimes they're not uh, what you're looking for, that's why there's so many options. You can also do um, by luma, lightness, hue, saturation, not a lot of saturation in this. Um, alpha, there's no real alpha channel, or you can just turn it on. And what on does is it just applies it on there. And then we can come in, and when it's just on, uh, threshold really doesn't matter. We can come to scatter, and it'll scatter and randomize the points. Now under scatter randomness there's an evolution to this scatter and we can change the speed faster or slower. We can also change the scale of the noise pattern it creates. So if I were to bring the size down real small let's actually go in here and add points to this so we can see and let's bring the scale down or up You can see the noise pattern it's creating. 
So that's really cool. So let's actually turn off the scatter, turn off the points. Actually, let's just take the speed of the scatter down. I do want to scatter this a little bit. And let's draw edges. So that's what draws the lines. Um, we can also have, there's a transfer mode built into this. So normal is it just applies it normally. We can do in front. Um, sometimes there's uh, little breaks and holes and in front will actually fill your layer behind that. Or if you want to remove the faces, see if it's not in front, if it's just normal, it's showing just the faces. Do it in front and it's uh, applying this in front of your footage. But there's also every other single kind of transfer mode. So if you want to here and go overlay, let's turn back on our faces. Screen dodge, all of these different ones. You can create really, really cool effects using the transfer modes. Under the edge and point style, we can change the color of the edges and the points. Well, that's really cool. And the thickness. And then let's turn on our points. And the point type, we have circles, crosses, pluses. Let's make those bigger so you can see them. Vertical bars, horizontal bars, triangles, and squares. Now, under additional vertices, we can bring in our own points using the mask system built into After Effects. So if I just take a mask, uh, the pen tool, and just draw a mask on this layer, I don't even have to close it off. I'm just going to just draw points. And let's go into under the masks and select mask one. And you can see there's now points where all those points are. So if we bring the size down, let's bring it up, I mean, You can see all those points can show up. Now, if you don't want to do uh, just one mask, there's also the all mask um, version. So we can have multiple masks all in here. And it's adding points to this. It's a really easy way if you're wanting to uh, maybe do some low poly art, 2D art, you can go in and trace around someone. You can also uh, mask track these masks, which is really cool. We can also do masks only. So it's only going to put pay points where the masks are. And we can also, right here it says add edge points. Let's turn those off. So now we have just the triangulate. Now we just have the polytrace effect right where those masks are. So this is a brief overview of some of the things you can do with polytrace. And just really a quick reminder that today is the last day to sign up for the early bird discount. So today's the day, tomorrow, Tuesday the 8th, it will be released. And once it's released, this discount goes away. So it's really simple, there's really no obligation. You just sign up your email. And I'm gonna send out a coupon to everyone that's on this list for 43% off the $35 price, which brings it down to just under $20. Again, only people on this list are gonna receive that coupon. If you're not, you're not gonna get that discount. So make sure you go and sign up for the early bird list. Also remember there's a free transition sound effects pack. All you have to do is pay with a tweet and we can send that out to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited for the release of this new plugin and I can't wait to see all the great things you can make with it.